Well, I think one of the critical messages we need to get out is that we need to identify this subset of glioblastoma patients who have the EGFRB3 mutation in their tumor. It's only 30% of the patients, but we now have a promising therapy uh, that does improve survival. And, and the other very important aspect of this, particularly relevant for brain cancer patients, is its impact on is the side effect profile and, and, and toxicity. So many of the treatments we offer our patients do have significant uh, side effects and toxicities. Rinda peppermint in all of the studies that's been assessed, including the REACT study, had negligible toxicity, a small amount of induration or erythema at the injection site, otherwise very, very well tolerated. So this is a treatment that we want to make sure the community-level oncologists know is out there that can improve survival and is safe and very well tolerated uh, for this patient population. So they have to help us identify who these patients are and the testing, the only way to do that is to test the tumor uh, for the expression of this marker EGFRV3. That is routinely done by a very simple and straightforward RT-PCR assay. At most academic centers can routinely and easily do that. Um, but unless that testing is done, these patients will never be identified and therefore they won't be able to have access to this, uh, to this effective therapy.